Hey guys, it's me, Saran, back with another video. Um, it's the last Friday of the month, so this is going to be a Black Friday video for you. Um, this one's going to be a little different from some of the other ones I've done in the past because I'm actually going to be opening two boxes from two separate companies, um, but they both have to deal with like my face and like they, they're like both for the, your face, so I figured um, why not open them together. One is for a moisturizer that I ordered from an Etsy shop called Brown Butter Beauty. And the other one is actually makeup from a black owned makeup company called Lisi Cosmetics. You guys know that I typically don't wear makeup. Actually don't ever wear makeup. I don't own any makeup. I never wear makeup. Um, but I was actually getting ready for the wedding um, in Detroit and I had an epiphany of maybe perhaps I should wear some makeup and look like a grown-up at this wedding so I was like hmm let me order some makeup I ordered from Lisi Cosmetics um, and that's gonna be the stuff in this box so for all of you guys out there that you know I get tons of questions about make black owned makeup and you know things like hair products and stuff like that this one's for you. Hopefully you guys enjoy it because um, I actually don't wear any makeup at all and I had to have my mom walk me through the process of buying makeup. So hopefully um, I got the right stuff. So I'm actually going to open this box second. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and open my Brown Butter Beauty box first because it's super small. It's tiny um, because I just ordered one thing and that was this moisturizer it's really small and cute that's it and there's like some pink wrapping um, so I don't wear makeup but I'm very into skincare and uh, products for your face specifically um, I think it's good to use different types of products on your face and on your body um, one of the first jobs that I actually ever had was working for a skincare company I think I've maybe talked about it a little in, in other videos but I learned a lot about skin and your face and your health and your wellness and all that good stuff so I like to you know use um, different products on my face and on my body but it's been really really hard for me to find a moisturizer not just a lotion not just a cream because as you guys know I absolutely love my skin folk cream for my body um, but something specifically made for my face it's been a little bit harder to come by because a lot of black owned businesses focus on body and hair kind of like I said in my video where I said I was having trouble finding a good shampoo um, because most loose naturals are looking for a good conditioner it's kind of something along those same lines not very many people want things specifically for their, their face. So I was really, really excited when I came across Brown Butter Beauty. So this is the label. Um, that's the back. I'll just go ahead and read it. Use after cleansing the skin, pat dry, and apply to the face, neck, and decollete. Uh, ingredients, water, safflower seed oil. Made in the USA, Brown Butter Beauty, Brooklyn, New York brownbutterbeautyshop.com so they do have a they do have a website like I said I actually ordered this through Etsy and I have the Etsy page but I guess I'll go ahead and see if I can get the website to open as well I didn't even see until I got this I didn't even know that they had like a legit website is that bad is that horrible so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the Etsy page if I can get it to load there it goes so that's just like the page can you guys see there it goes. Brown Butter Beauty. Uh, it's based out of Brooklyn, New York. It's ran by Christine Gant, who is a black woman. So many of these businesses are ran by black women. It's really, 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 really impressive. I'm sure we've all heard the stats about how black women are going to college at these incredible rates and opening these small businesses at these incredible rates. And just really, it's a really good feeling. She has a great rating, over a thousand five-star reviews on Etsy. She's got, um, in addition to the moisturizer, she's got body oil, nail and cuticle oil, um, soaps, teas, conditioners, body scrubs, um, all kinds of cool stuff. This is actually what I ordered. I'm gonna show you guys. This is what I ordered. 
thing keeps like not focusing focus bitch doesn't want to focus but that's what I ordered it was 12 bucks which I know for people that are not that familiar with like skin like facial products I know that $12 for something this size probably seems like a lot but it's really not for a little teeny tiny you know bottle or jar or tub of a good face moisturizer can run me 20 30 35 40 50 dollars so i felt like 12 12 bucks for two ounces is actually pretty good and she does sell a larger size for 30 bucks um so if I, and also i also want to say when you're using a face moisturizer you really only need a little teeny tiny bit so this has a um a squirt container so i would probably squirt I'm not going to do it now because my hands are dirty and my face is dirty. I want to do it on a clean face. But I would squirt just a little, like literally one squirt is enough for my whole face. And you rub it into your face and that's it. So a bottle this size, will, this will probably last me four to six months depending on how much I use. Um, so if I like it, I might get the bigger size to last me, you know, 30 bucks for a year or something like that. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and read you. Cream moisturizer with pomegranate, fragrance-free for sensitive skin. My skin is actually not sensitive, but I like to err on the side of caution when it comes to buying products for my face because you just never know what is going to make your face, you know, break out. Um, so cream moisturizer with pomegranate, fragrance-free for sensitive skin, handmade item, ships worldwide from New York, United States, and the item detail state. A light, non-oily moisturizer packed with hydrating and moisturizing ingredients. Safflower oil, pomegranate, and evening primrose provide nourishment to thirsty skin. A powerful complex of oat protein, essential minerals, and B vitamins soothe dry, inflamed skin and replenish devitalized cells. This moisturizer absorbs immediately into the skin and leaves a nice, smooth surface for applying makeup. A little goes a long way, like I said. After cleansing the skin, pat dry and apply cream to the face and neck. Great for all skin types. Will not clog pores. So I'm really, really, really looking forward to washing my face um, and using this. I really wish it would, there we go. I really wish it would focus. Uh, and then using my makeup. So this, again, this is Brown Butter Beauty based out of Brooklyn, New York. It's owned by Christine Gant, who's a black woman. Um, I will include links to the, oh, the Etsy page. I said I was going to. Let me see if I can get the uh, the website to open on my phone browser. BrownButterBeautyShop.com. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Look how cute it is. See, and I didn't even know that she had a website. I did not do my due diligence, obviously. I just ordered it straight off Etsy. Made in Brooklyn, luxury natural products, spa quality, natural hair, effective, healthy beauty care. So this is the home page. Isn't it cute? Isn't it pretty? Very nice. So let's just go ahead and read the quick little about us. Brown Butter Beauty is a small batch natural beauty company based in Brooklyn, New York. Our herbal infused and global inspired beauty collection includes hair, body, and skincare products, which incorporates the healing elements of nature. We use potent and natural oils, roots, clays, botanicals, and essential oils sourced from around the world to create effective products with a luxury spa feel. No animal testing, sulfate free, no mineral oils, excuse me, food grade oils, and no glycerin. Launched in 2007 by Christine Gant, the Brown Butter Beauty line focuses on herbal infused, global inspired apothecary. Brown Butter Beauty was created out of Christine's journey to restore her hair, body, and skin to its optimum health and vitality. After years of working as a museum photographer with no self-care routine, Christine was tired all the time, had eczema, and her hair was thinning. She decided to change her lifestyle and focused on eating natural foods and using natural vegetable oils on her hair and skin. Making time to take better care of herself changed her life. Will you go, Christine? You go. I love it. I love it. So cute. Oh, and it looks like they have some retail locations as well. Oh, yeah. So you can buy them at various places in, in New York, Virginia, Maryland, Canada, the Virgin Islands. Um, nice. So I'll be sure to include, again, a link to all this in the description box for you guys. I'm really, really excited. Hopefully, I like this because if I like it, this can become my go-to face moisturizer because right now I don't have one. Um, I've just been using the raw shea butter that I got from Now Kado Creations. I've just been using that on my face and alternating with um, 
the skin folk. So, but I've, I've been thinking that I want something to use specifically on my face. So I, I plan on drenching my skin with essential vitamins and minerals. That's what it says. Drench your skin with essential vitamins and minerals. Minerals. Really excited about that. So let's get into this box. So this is makeup from Lisi Cosmetics, which is also located in New York. And I believe they have a brick and mortar store in New York, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so like I said, I don't own any makeup. I never wear makeup. Um, I've never been into... I'm not gonna say that I've never been into makeup because I like makeup. I could watch YouTube makeup tutorials for hours and hours, but I just never f really felt a desire to wear makeup myself. Um, but I do wanna look nice for the wedding and, and try some looks out. So I decided if I'm gonna be buying some makeup, why not buy it from a black owned business? And actually when I went to buy this makeup, um, when I went to go check out, they were actually having a huge sale. So everything I bought was 50% off. Cause you guys know me, I'm cheap as fuck. I love a motherfucking good sale. So I bought basically like a little starter, little starter kit. Because when I say that I literally own nothing, I literally own nothing, like I own nothing I have nothing so um I got some stuff oh and it looks like so it came all together yeah my okay so my box is empty it all came packaged together it looks like Move my box to the side um so this is just my receipt yeah that's just my receipt I put the box over to the side I have scissors here thankfully because I'm gonna have to cut into this I didn't know it was gonna come so like I said I ordered a bunch of stuff a starter kit you know a starter kit makeup for beginners so it looks like they put it all together and they wrapped it up really tight and snug in this bubble wrap and then they put it in this box so it's really super secure you guys know I always talk about the packaging um, definitely if you guys order makeup from this company it should arrive safe if it arrives you know packaged the same way that my stuff looks like it was packaged um, and Lucy Cosmetics was actually started by a husband and wife, a black husband and wife, who, you know, felt like there were not enough makeup brands out there that were catering to different types of beauty. They, you know, it was named for the wife. Her name, I believe, is Lucy, um, because she loved makeup and she was really into beauty and she felt like, as a black woman, she did not see herself represented. So Lucy and her husband decided to start this company, Lucy Cosmetics. And, you know, run it out of New York. And it also says on their website that the point is, like, department store quality at drugstore prices or spa quality at... No, I think it's department store quality at drugstore prices or something like that because the stuff is not expensive at all. Like, $5, five here, $5 there. You know, it's definitely not, like, $20 eyeshadows and $30, you know, lipsticks and shit like that because... I wouldn't buy that. <laughs> oh, look at how much it is. I look like a fucking product junkie. I look like a makeup product ju junkie, and I'm totally not. See, my mom, did, my mom, I'm gonna have to take a picture real quick because I told you my mom had to like walk me through this whole process. So she was like, listen, when you get it, take a picture of it and send it to me. And then when you're like testing it out, make sure you FaceTime me so that I can like walk you through it because she like doesn't have any trust in me. And I also don't have any trust in myself that I will know what to do. So we'll see. I'm going to go ahead and open up the Lucy Cosmetics on my phone as well. So, um, Lucy Cosmetics. It's the homepage. And it's, cha it's changing to like all different um, women, different kinds of women. Um, where's the about? Oh, well, let's go ahead and look at locations. Yeah, see, they do have a brick and mortar. Lisi Cosmetics, 741 Broadway, New York, New York, 10003. So they do have a shop if you're in New York. And dang, I wish I had, like, knew about this when I was in New York. I would have, like, went to their shop. Um, they do have a shop, though, brick and mortar, if you ever want to try them out. Let's see. How long has Lisi been in business? Lisi is a new brand with its flagship store opening in May 2002 in New York City. Our address is 741 Broadway near Astor Place, right off of 8th Street. So I believe, I think they ship like directly from, I feel like they ship directly from their shop. Um, I'm guessing they don't have, you know, like a huge 
warehouse or anything like that where they're, you know, sending stuff out to you like Amazon or something. Um, Lisi Cosmetics, the high-end brand that you can actually afford. <laughs> Full disclosure, I rarely wear makeup and like many women out there, I hardly ever stray from the cosmetics brands that I know and love. But Lisi Cosmetics is made for amazing quality and an even amazing, an even more amazing price point. Everything is under $15. The brand aims to bridge the gap between high-end quality products and affordable prices and caters to women of all ethnicities. Um, nice. So, what did I buy? I bought a bronzer. Um, I don't know if I should open every one of these individually. Are you guys feeling that? I'll probably have to edit. I'll probably edit this video anyway. So it's not too long. Ooh. Ooh. It's pretty. It's pretty, guys. Bronzer in Montego Bay. How do I open it? I don't even know how to open Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to edit the hell out of this video because I don't know how to open it. Ooh. Ooh. So... I bought a bronzer. I bought a what's this? Oh, um, eyeliner. Which I wasn't gonna buy, but my mother actually insisted. She's like, no, you need to buy an eyeliner. You need an eyeliner and whatever. Eyeliner. Um, I'm just gonna dump the packaging. I bought a brush, just like a brush, whatever, whatever. Um, and I bought an eyeshadow brush, even though I did not buy any eyeshadow from Lisi because I didn't really see any colors that I liked. Um, they have tons and tons and tons of colors, but I was actually looking for like a gold, like a shimmery gold kind of color, and I didn't see any that I liked. They had other colors that I liked. But I didn't see that one, so I will probably either not wear eyeshadow or just buy like some bullshit drugstore brand. But I'll probably just won't buy, won't. Or I'll, I, I might use some of this bron bronzer on my eyes because this is like a like a full little like palette. So I'll probably use this, even though technically it's not for eyes. Um, I, so I bought this lipstick in Eel Skin. It's kind of like a taupey you know, kind of color, cute little color, whatever. I bought this concealer. My mom actually didn't want me to buy a concealer. She was like, you have young, supple skin, you don't need concealer. The reason why I bought concealer is because I had a huge pimple recently on my face. I'm sure you guys have noticed, or if you haven't noticed, bless you. I had a huge pimple on my face, and I have a spot right there. You guys might not feel like you can see it. I can see it. And I don't want to be looking at wedding pictures and looking at this fucking spot. And everybody, and I actually have a little something here too. I have a little something. I have a little something there. Not drinking enough water. Got a little something. Um, and I don't want to be looking at wedding pictures and everybody's like, oh, everyone looks so pretty and everyone looks so cute. And I'm just like, look at that fucking spot on my head, bitch. So I bought this concealer. This is the darkest shade that they had, so I'm hoping it works for me. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, um, and the last thing I bought was some lip gloss. Last thing I bought was some lip gloss. This lip gloss in this really cool kind of like caramel kind of shade that I feel like will go well with um, the lipstick that I bought. 
Ooh, it smells good. It smells sweet. So, um, I really like the packaging. It's this kind of interesting, like, rubber material. It kind of reminds me of, um, of neoprene, like, scuba diver material almost. It's really, really cool. I like it a lot. So, everything I bought, I bought lip gloss, concealer, lipstick, eyeshadow brush, a regular brush, lip liner, and this palette, which is a bronzer slash, I'm also going to use it for, look, I can't even get this shit open, slash, I'm also going to use it for eyeshadow slash, I'm going to use it for whatever, because whatever, I don't care. Um, so, yeah, my total little haul here, I'm going to have to move everything so I can pick up the iPad and you guys can see it all. This is the full haul. Is it upside down? So, I'm really, really excited about this stuff. I'm super excited. I really can't wait to go to this wedding. Um, it should be fun. I'm really excited to go to Detroit and I can't wait. Uh, well, by the time you guys see this video, I will have been to Detroit and I will have posted my video of how it went. Um, you guys are going to be seeing it very late, but hopefully um, everything turns out well. And I mean, if you follow me on Instagram, you will have, again, already seen it because I'm sure I'll be posting pictures on Instagram and, and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I'm really super excited. Hopefully this makeup works, but you know, it was super fast shipping. Um... The moisturizer came super fast. The makeup came super fast. It was really nicely packaged up. Um, everything came in great condition, all in one piece. Um, great prices. Like I said, when I bought this Lisi stuff, it was actually 50% off. So, and they have sales all the time. I subscribe to their um, mailing list, and they're like always sending me like, oh, 20% off. This is on sale. That's on sale. I really like this like neoprene rubberized containers these are super duper cool so i'm so excited we're going to detroit we're going to a wedding well like i said by the time you guys see this video i will have already went and you have already known if i had a blast so this is, would be like a blast from the past this video and can't wait to show you guys um how these products work and again so for everyone out there that's been asking me about uh makeup and and kind of more like girly girl stuff um this video is totally for you so hopefully you guys enjoy it um, and check out all the links in the description box, uh, support black owned businesses. Like I said, this stuff's really, really affordable. They ship directly, you know, to your house from New York, or if you're in New York, you can go, you know, check out possibly their brick and mortar and pick some stuff up. And, um, yeah, support black owned business group economics. There are people doing a damn thing out there. So all you have to do is look. All right. Uh, food for thought as always. See you guys next time. Happy Friday. Peace.